So Anthropic just today, August 27th, made Artifacts, which is a relatively new feature that was only for paid subscribers before. Now they're generally available to all free pro and teams plans right here. So I thought it'd be a great idea just to cover what Artifacts is and some examples for you all. Um, obviously you can watch the videos here, but I thought I'd walk you through an example here. So I am going to play with, um, not that, another document here that, uh, let me see if I can find it. I have since lost it. Yeah, okay, it's the, it's, uh, the complaint uh, against um, Anthropic, actually, by three authors. I referenced this in the last edition of Brainiacs. So just using a complaint here, uh, I'll just run you through some very basics. But it, as always, I encourage you uh, to play with this. So let's go back to Claude. Uh, I'm going to upload this content. Uh, there we go. All right. I will just uh, type out a prompt. So you can see I just basically wrote, uh, well, I want to learn more about this PDF in an interactive manner. Can you create an interactive dashboard that helps me understand and learn the material in it? Now, there's shorter prompts. Uh, people have been just saying, hey, can you make a dashboard of this? But, um, you know, I'll, I'll see what we come up with here. So uh, theoretically, this is going to uh, split this screen up. You're going to see a bunch of code happening over here. Let it do its process because it's going to convert this code into actually something usable. And we're just going to start here. And I want to show you some of the things that you might be able to use to learn or remember um, different documents and all that. So uh, let's see. OK, so I've got basically a complaint, a, um, not a complaint, an error. So I'll simply say, um, I see we got an error in the code you created. Can you please try again? All right. Uh, not really sure what this error is or why it was um, erroring out, but let's see if it can fix itself. Okay, so big lesson here again for you new-ish users of uh, LLMs, text-based um, generative AI. You saw that it made an error. I instead of me quitting, I simply said, I see we got an error. Can you please try again? And it noticed its error and it went ahead and fixed it. So let's look at what we have now. So basically, we have the plaintiffs, we have the defendant, we have the filing date, okay? Um, allegations, if I click on that, basically gives me uh, the basic allegations, uh, the legal claims, and the remedies. Pretty good, right? I mean, this isn't astonishing, but for less than 30 second work, this could be good. Let's see what else we might be able to do with this. Um, okay, so I basically prompted it. Now I want you to add a way for me to test my learning about this case. Can you create a table that lists the key allegations in one column and a key facts related to each allegation in another column? Went through and did this. It noticed now there is another tab here. So let's see what it does. All right, so we have the key allegation and related facts. Now I would go through here and make sure, obviously, that this is this is accurate. Um, but it's a nice nice way to basically summarize and capture the essence of this case. Let's see what else might we want to do here. So I, I might break it here, but let's see. So say I'm a visual learner. I said thank you. I'm wondering, is there any way to add relevant graphics to help my learning? If so, please build them into the dashboard. I. I can't think of any way to add graphics, so we'll see what it comes up with here. Um, I'll, I'll let you watch in this uh, instance, see how long it takes us, and see if it breaks. It might break. It might not. I guess the point is, is you see me just experimenting here, and you know we're inundated with content. Uh, um, hopefully, you would read this case from start to finish. Um, but it's not a bad way to just uh, – Think about how you might use uh, this feature to refresh your memory um, to, you know, after you're done or maybe you had interruptions uh, basically along the way to capture some thinking and all that. So let's see what it came up with. It looks like it basically added 
<laughs> added icons. Okay. Um, not necessarily what I was hoping. So, okay. Well, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, like I said, I didn't think it was going to uh, come up with anything stunning here. But again, it tried. It's great. It shows you the functionality. Um, okay. So with that idea, I'll just basically say, listen, uh, excellent. As I always polite. Finally, I want to be able to test and refresh my knowledge on this case. Please create a series of questions that I can use. Not a question mark. That's a statement. Um, for each question, please provide a snippet of relevant content and a page reference to where the text is found in the document. All right. So, uh, again, going with whether this is a case, whether this is a research paper, or maybe it's just a really long memo or a document, you're starting to see uh, different ways of thinking about um, interacting with them. Um, again, this is using Anthropic, but this functionality can be built into um, almost any LLM that you might be using that's not a commercial one or you're using APIs, depending on what you have going on in your business. Okay, so it ran, it generated an error, asked it to try again, it generated the quiz. So this is what I have, and here's the quiz. All right, now I'm just gonna go through and select anything random here, uh, not really reading the um, uh, things and I've got show answers. Okay, so it gives me uh, what data set, so I got that one correct. Um, and then it gives me the page number, page reference. I'm gonna check that in a second. Uh, what is a primary legal claim? Correct answer, copyright infringement, um, page 14. So again, I could tweak this so that it was a little bit more interactive. Maybe it graded me as I went. Um, there's version of that that you can do as well, or it records what answer I gave it and that just told me what the correct one was. But anyway, really interesting here. Um, let me just go see if I can find, uh, that's not it, that's from prior work. Uh, where is it? Bear with me here and I will find it. So yeah, I can see here on page 11, it does reference uh, the use of the pile. Now, it referenced that earlier, but it's pointing to where Anthropic is basically on record or reported or acknowledged publicly that it used the pile. So I guess you could say um, that's the right way to, to, to point you in terms of uh, what's at stake here, but the pile's also referenced earlier up here as well. So again, I think that's open to interpretation. I'm just trying to run you through this as quickly as I can to spark your thinking and possibly use this. So. Again, the big news today is that Anthropic has made artifacts, which is the feature I'm showing you, available to all users. So you should definitely play with it. Uh, check it out and have fun.